Palestinians. An accusation that comes not from Palestinians or aid organizations, but from Israeli forces themselves. A group of soldiers, graduates of a military academy, gathered last month to discuss their experiences in the 22-day Israeli offensive that ended in January. Discussions that have been disclosed by the Academy's director. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilson, reports. Israeli soldiers in Gaza in January. The Israeli Defense Force likes to say that its soldiers have the highest ethical standards in the world. But that's not what's coming out now. Troops being debriefed at an Israeli military school have confessed to destroying property and even killing innocents. We were surprised and were in shock when the testimony started to flow. They reported unsupervised use of force towards property, towards Palestinians. This seems to us as a policy matter, that at least in the lower ranks, no one has enforced any other policy. Camera crews who went into Gaza after the Israeli assault found offensive graffiti. This says, if you want to be close to God, we will take care of that. Other graffiti insulted Arabs and Muslims. But the man who debriefed the soldiers said there was worse. According to the testimony of a soldier who was present at the site, an IDF unit took over a house. The family was asked to leave. By mistake, a mother with two children stepped to the left instead of walking to the right. A single sniper was on the roof. He spotted a woman and children walking in a restricted area and opened fire. I don't have enough details to say exactly how this happened, but in the end, they were killed. Palestinians have alleged in many previous operations that Israeli soldiers use civilians as human shields, treat them with contempt and steal. But the soldiers themselves suggest that the rules of engagement were especially lax in Gaza. One anonymous squad leader is quoted as saying, the lives of Palestinians, let's say, is something very, very less important than the lives of our soldiers. So far as they're concerned, they can justify it in that way. As it always does when confronted with such testimonies, the Israeli Defense Force says it will investigate. Human rights campaigners see this as more evidence that Israel should be charged with war crimes for its actions in Gaza. Well, the Israeli government spokesman Mark Regev joins us now from Jerusalem. Are you shocked that Israeli soldiers have admitted these atrocities? We, of course, take these allegations extremely seriously. The Advocate General, that's the chief legal officer in our military, has ordered a criminal investigation and the military police is currently conducting that investigation. Uh, of course, there have been allegations like this before. Um, can you give us examples of prosecutions in the past? Well, if you look at this particular case, there's some 15 pages of transcript by the soldiers who were the previous students at this academy. And you have to know that it, it's very detailed. There are examples there of behavior that should be investigated. There is also examples there of people making every effort possible not to hurt innocent civilians, as is the demand of the Israeli but army. But do your that investigations ever lead to anything? That's the question. I mean, these sorts of allegations were made after Janine. This is very, very detailed stuff. Uh, do you ever prosecute people? Of course we do. In Israel, it's, there is rule of law. Not even the prime minister, as you know, is above the law. But Janine so is these an soldiers example of would where be... there was more... These, what sort of action will be taken against these soldiers? Well, I, I just remind you, the stories about Janine being a massacre was proven to be false. Even the United Nations said in the end there wasn't a massacre. So I think you should be careful before you use that example. Well, that, that's a specific Israel, thing you're no denying one... that I didn't put to you. But there were also allegations of other individual atrocities. I'm not aware. I can tell you the following. In Israel, there is rule of law. No one is above the law. Not the president, not the prime minister, not a general. No one is above the law. We have a fiercely independent judiciary. We have a very, very professional legal system which is respected well uh, internationally. And I'm sure that these things will be handled very professionally in the investigations. The point is that these are soldiers who are saying they were being ordered to shoot unarmed civilians. This isn't rogue soldiers or soldiers taking unilateral decisions to do things that are known to be illegal. They were ordered to, they say, by their commanding officers. There was a policy, it seems, to shoot innocent civilians who were unarmed. That's definitely not true. There was no such policy on How the How do contrary. you know? On the, first, on the first day of the war, there was a public order given by the chief of the Israeli military, General Ashkenazi, who said the Palestinian people in Gaza are not our enemies. We are fighting Hamas, not 
the innocent Palestinian population. And if you read the full 15 pages of transcript, you would see countless examples of Israeli soldiers making an effort to make sure that innocent civilians weren't caught up in the crossfire. There's a transcript there of a pilot who, who explains what great effort he went to to be as surgical as was humanly possible. Yeah, but Mr. Regev, there, there are also very clear testimonies of soldiers who were ordered by commanding officers to shoot civilians who were unarmed. Women, young children. That's, that's, I mean, and, and what will happen it, to both the soldier and the officer who ordered it and whoever ordered the officer to deploy that policy? If you read the 15 pages of transcript, and I urge you to, uh, a lot of it is second-hand and third-hand information so which you is don't now believe being those investigated. Bits. No, I think we have to investigate. I think any such allegation has to be investigated. I know that the investigation is already underway, and what you reported uh, at the beginning of this piece about the family, the, the mother and the two children, apparently they were never killed. It's just not true. The soldier was basing his... Uh, it wasn't testimony because it was an open discussion in an educational dis uh, institution, but he was basing what he thought uh, on hearsay. It wasn't correct, apparently. Mark Regev, thanks very much for joining us. Palestinians. An accusation that comes not from Palestinians or aid organizations, but from Israeli forces themselves. A group of soldiers, graduates of a military academy, gathered last month to discuss their experiences in the 20...